Hey guys, welcome to another episode of 10 Years Later. Now admittedly this movie was released a little earlier, albeit in Europe, but in North America on February 29th, 2008, we were given in Bruges. I admittedly did not see this movie in theaters. I don't know if there was anywhere showing it that wasn't close by. I still was in the process of getting my license, so I couldn't just waltz out to Vancouver to watch this. But this is a movie that introduced the world, or at least American audiences, to Martin McDonough, the director of films of come, such as Seven Psychopaths, and the movie that's getting a crap load of attention and may just possibly win Best Picture, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. What this movie showed was how dark comedies could be extremely insightful, very funny, but also emotionally gripping all within this little wave. And that's what In Bruges does. The film is about Colin Farrell, a brand new hitman who literally screwed up on his first job and killed a kid. His partner, Brendan Gleeson, is ordered by their boss, who's played by Ralph Fiennes, to go to Bruges, basically as a little holiday before Colin Farrell is eventually killed. He has to be killed because he killed a kid. However, right from the onset, Colin Farrell cannot stand Bruges. He believes it's a terrible place. He makes a comparison about having grown up in Ireland, something along the lines of, if I had grown up on a farm and had been retarded, maybe I'd have liked it, but I didn't, so I don't. What we find out is actually Colin Farrell is battling with his own suicidal thoughts. And there's a scene in the film when Brendan Gleeson is about to kill, execute Colin Farrell, whereas Farrell, unknowing to what Gleeson's intentions are, he actually almost blows his brains out. That is what makes Gleeson have a change of heart, and he tries to give Farrell a, ch a second chance. However, somehow getting on the train and go away makes him come back, and in the end, Ralph finds Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson all come to a head. And the ending is not exactly a happy picture. But what transpires throughout the entire film is extremely funny dialogue, a very in-depth look at mortality considering the subject matter, as well as an absolutely great rip on Bruges. Colin Farrell is literally just ripping this town apart throughout the entire film. And then the ending. The ending is what would give us the Mark McDonough ending. He's done this technically three times now. Seven Psychopaths was probably the least like ending that he's done, but in terms of ending on a note that you don't really know how the film ends. The ending is up for you to interpret what's gonna happen, but in terms of the characters, their story is done. And that's what In Bruges ends on because Colin Farrell is shot and as he's being put into the ambulance car, he's like, I don't want to die because he's come to the realization or the thought that perhaps Root Bruges is actually hell. That That's what you have to, that's what hell is. You're spending an eternity in Bruges. Along the side of that as well, people gave Colin Farrell a second chance. They realized that he actually was a really good actor. This movie showed several layers of his talent and I was blown away. I originally thought that Colin Farrell was kind of a dingus from movies like SWAT or Daredevil, but this movie showed that Farrell is not just an Irish bad boy, but he actually is a good actor. Everyone in this film is fantastic. It's probably I would say I like it better than Seven Psychopaths. I don't know, I still think uh, Three Billboards is the best one of Martin's work, but either way, In Bruges is definitely something you should check out. It's one of the best dark comedies I've ever seen, and it's got a really funny turnout by Ralph Fiennes, this high-pitched, nasally mob boss assassin job guy. It's, <laughs> there's a line where He's slamming his phone down, and his wife says, it's like, Hey! It's an inanimate object! And he's like, You're a fucking inanimate object! Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of 10 Years Later. Basically, just a retrospective. If you guys haven't watched in a while, maybe you should give In Bruges a second watch. It's a good movie, it's an enjoyable movie, and it's well worth your time. 
Anyways, guys, that's all from me. If you like this episode, leave a like. If you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you on the next episode of 10 Years Later.